Okay guys, so we got my brand new Franklin Sensors Pro Sensor Max. It's a lot bigger than their regular scanners. And I have the Bosch DTEC 120, which has been my go-to for uh, ceramic tile, um, uh, porcelain tile, which this is. So I know where my studs are. I know where some studs are here. I didn't mark them, but I know where they're at. And I know where there are some anomalies in the wall, some blocking and a couple other things that I discovered when I put in this grab bar for my father-in-law a few years ago. You can see it lines up with the stud and the stud next to the window. So with the Bosch DTEC, you have to turn it on. You have to choose which sensitivity you want. I'm going to go with that, whatever that is, block, break, something. And then you have to move back and forth until it gets calibrated, and it looked like it was already calibrated. So there we got that one. Shows you the center, and then it goes in and out to show you the edges. Uh, here we go. All right. Come over here. Oh, 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 what happened? Okay. Go down here. All right, so let me go up on the sensitivity to cement. Okay, so that found the stud and a little anomaly in the wall that we don't want to drill into. Okay, there it's showing that stud. Not quite as, there we go. I pushed it onto the wall further. Here, I know there's a stud there because I was in the wall before. Right, it's showing it really, really bright there. So you gotta keep moving it back and forth just to make sure. And that's an anomaly that is in there that I know is not a stud. And there's that one by that window. So the Bosch Detect 120 does pretty good picking that stuff up. Although it's a little more difficult to use and you have to calibrate it on the wall and all that. And it's also picking up anything else that's in there which you may or may not want to drill into. I'm going to take the Franklin Sensors Pro Sensor Max. I'm just going to put it on the wall, turn it on. What's that it picked up? We don't know. Okay, there we go. There's a stud. Boom. They had that little bleep there. Is something I know that's in the wall that the other one picked up too. But it just showed a little tiny, like, uh, I'm not sure that's a thing. Here, it's pretty dead on. And then that green light is on the center of the sensor. When it gets to there, it shows you that's the center. I'm not sure why there's only one green light, but hey, whatever. Okay, there's another little anomaly that I know is in the wall. Boom. Picked it up. Very good. Very good. It's going to pick it up, this one that I know is there. And it might pick up a nice little blip in the wall. There it is. That's not a stud, but this one is. So it's very clear that that's a stud. Very clear that that's a stud. Very clear that that's a stud. Now just to show you again, there's no calibration needed. I'm gonna turn it on in midair and put it against the wall. Boom, stud. Stud, 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 boom. And that is where that stud is. I marked it on the uh, tile up there, but it's actually behind the trim a little bit. So uh, I'm pretty excited about this for 120 bucks compared to, uh, I think over 350-ish for the Pro 
for the Boss Detect 120, which I'm still pleased with. And this will find stuff, this will find stuff deep, deeper in concrete, so it's not like I'm going to throw this away. This is, this is going to come in handy. But this sucker just, oh, so much easier. You don't have to calibrate. You just stick it on a wall, and it's going. All right, good find. Thanks, Dan. I think Dan posted this in the group. Appreciate it, bud.